family's been involved with the hobby horse, I suppose, probably 60 years now. Um, my dad started with it. The Weber family, that was the fishermen, they were the only ones to go with him. They were, there, was a, there was a religion to them. And uh, my brother came up and he said, you're getting old, old feet. Why don't you let Graham jump in? He said, would her? He used to be kept underneath the, in a coal shed years ago. And they used to bring it out about a week before they were going to take it out from Mayday and put hose pipe on it, on it and put it out on the arbor to drive. And my dad can always remember seeing the hobby was going out on, on the arbor and drying out. He said when you used to get in there and come out, it was like a coleman, like it was black inside as well, like you know. Because they drunk like fishes. Oh, they drunk like fishes. Oh, they fall in all through the year until they come to the hobby horse, and then they, they be, they be buddies. And it's really surprising to see the old people that are out and waiting to see the horse. And um, that's quite a special time, you know, there's a lot of people there and um, quite touching really. But, um, I remember turning up once, going to White Cross and uh, I wasn't feeling very well from the night before and they said the easiest thing you can do is put him in there and keep him quiet. The more you drink with that obvious, the better he is. You mustn't, you mustn't be sober with him. No, that's, that's why we tell the young chaps, get a plenty of drink. The Webbers used to finish work three o'clock in the afternoon, go in the ship aground, or when they came out, they were lunars. <laughs>